Now, many African countries have only limited public transportation, leading to innovative ways of helping people to get around. Businessmen in Liberia are cashing in on motorcycle taxes, which are a hit with commuters. VOA's Martin Seacrest has that story. Introduced in Monrovia about seven years ago, motorbike taxis are giving buses stiff competition. Their abundance and efficiency makes it easy for those in a hurry and not so vain to hop on the back and get to their destination faster. Unlike buses which have limited seating and routes, the bikes can weave through traffic and narrow streets with ease. The taxis are owned by mostly ex-combatants who fought in the country's 1989 to 2003 civil war. Finding they had no employable skills for jobs, they came up with the idea to make money while easing a transportation shortage problem. This motorbike taxi owner says he makes about $20. That's good money considering most Liberians live on less than 50 cents a day. Being motorcycles because of some uh, reason after the war, we as combatants were discriminated among people. They don't want to help out, they don't want to get a job. So that's the reason why some of us fund this one to do for now, but it's not, it doesn't mean it's our career. Liberia has attracted billions of dollars in resource investment, but the infrastructure still needs work. President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, who won a re-election recently in a runoff, promises to cut poverty through employment and build infrastructure during her second term. The motorbike taxis are welcome relief for many Liberians on the move who don't have their own means of transportation. Uh, it becomes an issue of motorcycle to some extent. They are either level of transportation problem. That is, if you find out that we have because of the traffic and you have, we don't have more vehicles in our country today, so they came in to assist the, the vehicles. One drawback of these taxis, however, is reported cases of recklessness. While efficient and offering a much needed service, many of the riders do not have a license to operate and are often blamed for causing accidents and engaging in illegal activities. One of the things that is disheartening about them is that and robots sometimes use them because you know it's fast in getting to places as compared to car. So sometimes people use those means that, that robbing other people. Liberia is hoping that iron ore mining will soon boost reconstruction in the country and that drilling offshore will strike oil that can help drive economic growth and provide new jobs. Martin Seacrest, VOA News.